Go. Right now we're going to do part of the chest and then we're going to do um, the interior arms. So here we have pectoralis major. We have pectoralis minor. Just reflecting that. Uh, yeah, just make sure that you mentioned the three heads of the pec major. Okay. Um, so pec major has three heads. You have the clavicular head, which is right here. Right here. So it'll touch the clavicle. Um, you have the sternal head. Right there. That'll attach to the sternum. Then you have the abdominal head. Right here. That'll attach to, to the abdomen. Mm -hmm. Then you have, um, you could see part of your deltoid. You got it? Yeah, we got them in the other shot. Nice. So there's your interior deltoid for your entertainment. Just gonna reflect these two. All right, speak up because this is going to be loud. I know that. Okay. Um, now we're going to move on to this portion of the arm. And right here, we have um, biceps brachii. It has two heads, a long head and a short head. Um, this long, skinny lateral head right here, this is going to be your long head. This one right here, it's thicker. It's going to be your short head. It's also more medial. Um, underneath it, Underneath it, you're going to see um, brachialis, which is right here, also known as the workhorse of the arm. Okay. I forgot one up there. Oh. And last but not least, we have coracobrachialis, right here. So here is biceps brachii, right there. This is the short head of the biceps brachii, it goes into the coracobrachialis, which is right here. Now we're going to move down to the musculature of this part of the arm. So first we need to find our landmark muscle, which is going to be brachioradialis. Can you flip over a little, like this way? There Good. you go. Good. Okay. So this one is brachioradialis, and you can tell because it's the only one going in this direction, the only muscle going in this direction of the arm. All the muscles tend to curve. This one is right here, goes there. So. Here's where we start, brachioradialis, then we have pronator teres, which is this muscle right here. Let me see if I could grab it, so, you got it? Right here. Okay. It touches like that. So pronator teres, and this muscle right here is going to be flexor carpi radialis. This one, this tiny skinny one, is palmaris longus. One way, one way you could remember it is like, think of a palm tree, it's tall and it's long and skinny. So palmaris longus. Um, then we have this one, which is gonna be flexor digitorum superficialis. Get a better view. So, Flexor digitorum superficialis. And here, like, you could also see the tendons for it. It's going to be um, the tendons to the side. And if I pull on it, see, you see movement. So flexor, the action is flexing. Digitorum, because it goes to your digits right here and superficialis next we have this muscle right here that's going to be flexor carpi ulnaris it's right here Good. Um, now we're going to move on to the second layer of the arm we're going to pick up um, flexor digitorum superficialis and then underneath it this huge chunk of muscle. It looks like several different muscles, but it's actually one muscle. It's called um, flexor digitorum profundus. So it's right underneath flexor digitorum superficialis. Um, the tendons for it touch a little higher, a little more distally on the fingers. And here's the tendons for, here's one of the tendons for extensor digitorum profundus. So if I pull it, 
You kind of see that. Yeah, it helps you make a fist. Right. It flexes the distal phalanges, like so. Okay, so we're going to put back everything because we have one more muscle that is in the second layer, and that is going to be our flexor pollicis longus. The way to find that is you're going to take, let's see, one way to do this. You're going to take your flexor carpi radialis. Let's take this. You're going to move this whole portion out. And then you're going to be left with flexor pollicis longus. One way to check is if you pull it, just pay attention to the thumb. And there you go. final layer, or the third or the deepest layer, is going to be found by taking the superficialis and profundus muscles, moving them out of the way, and it's this muscle right here, it's called pronator quadratus, allows you to pronate. And there's one more muscle you can find on the arm, and that's the supinator. To find that, what you'd have to do is Take the arm of the clavicle, take the arm of the cadaver, <laughs> Dutch. Um, shake its hand. You're going to look for um, pronator teres. You're going to mark its most distal attachment point, and you're going to turn it. And this muscle right here is going to be supinator. So I'm going to do that one more time. Find pronator teres, mark the most distal portion with my finger, and I'm turning the hand of the cadaver, and this is going to be the supinator. Then you're done. Um, just through the hand? The hand itself. I need to review the hand stuff really quickly. Uh, which one is this? This is Palmer Aperneurosa.